Mr. Luker, this is your letter dated December 29th of 2010. After you withdrew as my attorney, based upon a bunch of bull crap, but Lynn Luker, Lynn M. Luker, PA, attorney at law, also an Idaho state legislator. You know, why can't I get somebody to help me buy road this for me? Because my life is truly on the line. Here. But I can't get anybody to really help me. But I'm putting this stuff out on YouTube anyway. Maybe just a streak of, maybe somebody's going to pick it up and truly help me carry it through. But so far, that hasn't happened. Maybe God's got a reason for that. Maybe he's making sure that I do it myself to make sure that it gets done properly and it don't get scammed underneath the carpet or something. It says, Lynn Luker, December 29th. Clearly. This is just, oh, dear Jim, this is just written confirmation that I received your letter of December 27th of 2010 which is the letter that I faxed to Lynn Luther, also stating that I would withdraw my Social Security disability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As we discussed on the phone, oh, December 27, 2010, asking that I accept the last of the 120, uh, offer of $120,000 to close your claim. And I contacted Mr. Hall according to your request. As we discussed on the phone yesterday, the serenity changed to choose to change its offer after your rejection of the prior offer. The offer is still 120000 but they now want credit for the impairment previously paid of, of 27531 There's also, now I don't understand why they're asking for the, all that money to be, re, you know, I mean, it's based on Dr. Hansen's impairment rating. So I don't know where you all get off that you guys are entitled to anything. So, as we discussed on the phone yesterday, the Serenity Choose change its offer after your rejection of the prior offer. The offer is still 120000 but they now want credit for the impairment paid of 27531 which they paid me over time. There is also a child support lien outstanding to 4372 which would have to be paid from the settlement. That would leave a new fund available before attorney fees and cost of $88,096.03. Well, since it didn't come out of my, of that, my child support lien, because that came out of my Social Security disability when I received it, Mr. Lee Luke, after you quit, I went ahead and carried it through and, and received my Social Security disability. Uh, you indicated that you were not interested in the offer because I didn't want the money. It was about the help that I needed to comprehend what has happened to me. Man. I can no longer work. I'm trying to comprehend the pain that I'm in every day. Not wanting to cut off my arm because, it, you know, but, but thank God I had very good doctors. That tried to explain, you know, that explained to me in detail about what phantom pain is. They even had me go and talk to a couple of people that, that, uh, that actually had amputation, you know. So, uh, you indicated that you were not interested in that offer, and I conveyed that to Mr. Hall. Therefore, we are back to this status before your letter of December 27th of 2010 where the order of withdrawal is effective, and I am no longer involved in the case. I understand that you did pick up the files from the Industrial Commission. I am sorry that this last attempt to resolve the case did not work out. You see, Mr. Lynn Luker? Uh-uh. No way, buddy. I hired you, Lynn Luker. You didn't go before the Commission to be right back where we are, where the Commission granted you withdrawal. No, 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 Lynn Luker. You're, you know, you're a scammer, Lynn Luker. You are an Idaho state legislator who sits on the judicial, which is part of the industrial commission. So clearly there was a conflict of interest. 
And when I told you every single thing that I caught these people are doing to me, now I know what you did, Lynn Luther. You turned around. Because when I get done reading also Miss Julone's deposition, it, you know, it, it really clearly shows how you all are talking in sign language, kind of, making sure that certain documents get put into the records. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Lynn Luther, you're a quitter. You're not entitled to nothing. Matter of fact, you owe me over $4,000. And you know what? I think I'm going to file criminal charges on you also, Mr. Lynn Luther, the slash legislator of the state of Idaho. Because isn't it true, by you doing, by you coming aboard, based upon this letter, you clearly violated the Idaho judicial rules of conduct for attorneys? Oh yeah, clearly. Both you and the law firm of Anderson Julian Hall clearly violated. Because isn't it a fact, Mr. Lynn Luther, that once you withdraw, you're not to have no communication. But I did hire you back. Well, I hired you on January 27th. And isn't that a fact when you did turn around and file your lien? Is on the 27th also? You know, because I don't know, man. And then you turn around and you quit? Mr. Lynn Luker, you're a scum. In my opinion, even though Mr. Donahue, in my deposition with Mr. Uh, one of the uh, their doctors, their doctors, that you didn't do because you were a quitter on me, which their deposition was to be done the very next day before you quit, Mr. Lynn Luker, which again, an attorney shall not quit when there is things, you know, that you straight up, you know, try to screw you. And then that, and then the, uh, and, and then supposedly this, uh, this contract that you sent to me, that you mailed to me, not through the Industrial Commission during my argument that you're not entitled to anything in their findings of facts and conclusions of law, Mr. Lynn Luker, I didn't sign that contract with you. You know damn good and well I did. That was a bogus ass fucking. I'm coming for you, man. Do you want to destroy my life? I'm going to come and pay you back. But the thing is about me is I'll be stating the truth, Mr. Lynn Luther. But you're lying. You're a liar, Lynn Luther. Here it is, right here. December, I mean, December 29th. But you quit and withdrew on December 20th based upon a bunch of fraudulent lies so it would help you on your attorney lien. And that's why they put in there that I fired an attorney, Roger Brown, to also to help you on your attorney lien to make it look like that I don't get along with my attorney, so I fire him. You crooks. You guys are crooks. And I'm a coming. With or without the Idaho Supreme Court. Because Steve Kenyon, clerk of the court, I have some issues on his filings also because he's still denying me. Let me know how to file electronically. Which the Supreme Court told me that I am allowed to file electronically. But I have emails again with Steve Kenyon, but he's not responding in the manner that he should be responding to me in regards to filing because of the lies that the state insurance company has said at the at, at, at oral argument that I want to try to figure out how, what to file and how to get it before, you know. But again, it's okay. I'm coming. I'm not a quitter. Because again, man, I didn't get to say Happy Father's Day or receive a Happy Father's Day from my kids because you guys are taking that totally away from me again. 
This time it's your all's fault. I've had to argue you all, had to fight you guys with lies, and still fight lies, and have to publish it. And you know, and I'm sure that you know, who am I? Am I am I just crying? Well, you know what, Mr. Donahue, to state what he stated, you know, clearly show Mr. Donahue or Mr. Honorable. I don't, you're not even, you know, out of my tongue. No, you're not no honorable. Mr. Donahue, you should have stepped aside. There it is, Lynn Luker. There's your letter that everybody thinks that I don't have. All right? There it is, Lynn Luker. Yeah, your name right there on the bottom, Lynn Luker. Yeah. Yeah. And it was part of one of my uh, filings before the Supreme Court, too. But you think you got in there? I don't think so, because again, I was denied final review. Just like this letter, I just like my letter that I received from Lynn Luker instead of through the Industrial Commission because it was during my uh, my appeal. No communication, Mr. Lynn Luker. Why did you communicate? So, again, Lynn Luker slash legislator for the state of Idaho. Why doesn't somebody try to help put help? Help me um, filter this out. Help me be heard. I'm trying to fight for all people. All innocent people that have been taken advantage of. I have documents to back it up. But it's just me. Just me. Against the Idaho State Industrial Commission. Well, it started out. It was, it, it was me fighting for my life at my job. It was fighting with the state insurance fund to get me closer to a doctor because they were refusing me transportation. So I fought for a month, for three weeks, to get it transferred to a Dr. Hansen, which was closer. But at the but at the uh, oral argument, they made it sound like uh, that uh, that Mr. Uh, that Dr. Gross uh, released me on the 29th, and so because he released me on the 29th, I went and seen Dr. Hansen on the 30th. You know, because, again, but that ain't the fact, man. Isn't it a fact that you guys also sent Dr. Hansen to Pearl on the 29th also? Because I had an appointment set up three weeks in advance on for the 30th. That's why I fought y'all. And Mr. Lynn Luker didn't do nothing. Lynn Luker slash legislator did nothing. And now I know why. But he always told me, oh, don't worry about it. The commission will figure it out. Bullshit, huh, Mr. L Mr. Lynn Luker slash legislator, vice chair of the judicial, which is in the industrial commission, who sits there and makes sure all the rules, so they're over there patting each other's back, you know, oh, good man, good man, you did it. But you know what? I'm not a quitter, am I? You guys are learning that, huh? Yeah, no. As you said, Mr. Donahue, I mean, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hall, there at all argument there at the end. Uh, this is uh, this has been one of the uh, cases. Uh, 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 pretty, uh, you know what? That's because I'm a fighter. Because again, your fucking firm was also involved in getting my private health records. And then for Miss 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 Rachel Abar to lie at the Supreme Court to say that you all were not involved in my case during those records being received without my authorization, bull. I also have your filing that you sent to me on August seventh or sixth of change of attorneys, but it actually you took over. August 1st, 2008. Okay, guys.